I'm just proud of this team. To come through with a big drive like that, what does that say about this team? Championship attitude. Uh, you know, I think all of us are real confident. I think, uh, you know, the drives, we should have scored a lot more. I mean, I'm not saying Tennessee did a great job. I think we just shoot ourselves in the foot too much, really, you know. It's like we get going, then we, you know, just shoot ourselves in the foot and get us back in those second, third and longs, and it's tough. But, uh, you know, I, I always I had confidence in our guys the whole time, and, and uh, I don't know, there's just a feeling we were going to get it done. You get emotional after being? You get emotional after being? Oh yeah, I mean it was. I mean I didn't, you know, cry or anything, but uh, but uh, I mean it meant a lot to me, and I, I was definitely, you know, real excited and celebrating with my teammates. Jake, talking about our game. Season Jake, any question about the Honestly, the same same old Derrick Henry. I mean he doesn't change much. When you give him the ball, you know he's going to find his heart out to to get a first down, score touchdowns, and just. He helps his team more. Yeah. You know, I can't even explain how much he helps our team. So I think your head in those two routes to Calvin Hopkins right there is what's kind of what you're trying to do there. Uh, Coach Kiffin, we had talked about the plays you know, prior to us running them, and uh, I was just, based off what they gave me, I just, you know, did what he told me to do, and, and uh, you know, really they weren't perfect balls, but those guys, you know, Darius and Calvin made some huge plays. Tom, did you sense the team was a little heavy legged after eight straight weeks of playing? Oh, uh, I don't think so. You know, it, like I said, it was more mental than, than physical. Jake, did you feel like this was maybe your defining moment as an Alabama quarterback this season? I don't know about that. I think uh, I think the, the guys around me made big plays, and, and uh, you know, they made it a lot easier on me to, to get them the ball. And like I said, wasn't weren't perfect balls, but those guys just made plays, and I'm just proud to be on this team. Of, Talk about Ardarius Stewart. Talk about the game. Yeah, I thought he had a breakout game. Yeah, he, uh, you know, Ardarius, you know, he's always he plays hard every game. Does does everything as hard as he can do it. And uh, you know, I, I love that guy. He's one of those guys that really helps me during the games and you know, on and off the field. Really, just with the way he plays and the way our relationship. You know, he means a lot to me, and uh, I'm, I'm proud of the way he played today. What do you say to the defense? When, you, when well, they took the lead. Right before you went back out on the field, you looked up in the stands for for quite a while and kind of took it all in. What would you remember? What you were thinking? Hang on, one more time. When they took the lead before you go out for the, the drive that puts you back ahead to win the game, you looked off in the stands and kind of stared up there for a little while. What, do you remember what you were thinking? Um, no, I was just waiting on the on the play clock to start ticking, really, uh, <laughs> just because I was, you know, just waiting to because I wanted to get up there and run the play and then not see what we were in. So, you know. But yeah, it was a big moment. What was your reaction after uh, A. Shawn was running? Complete happiness, I guess. You know, it was a, uh, it was a big relief. You know, uh, I knew, you know, I, I knew they were going there to make plays, and uh, they got, you know, they did what they what they always do, just come through. Talk about the mental part. How big is this bye week in terms of recharging your batteries for the for the stretch run here? Uh, I'm, it's going to be nice. It's all, you know, it's going to be real nice, relax, and uh, and just prepare for LSU. Jake, you heard some people this week talking about maybe the Alabama-Tennessee robbery has lost a little bit. Uh, being, you know, from here, an Alabama guy, how much did it mean to you to beat those guys? Uh, it meant a lot. I'll tell you, the Coach Saban always said, you know, this is one you're going to live with for the rest of your life. And uh, and so to me, or to all of us, really, to get that done, you know, it's, it's great. What